Thank you for taking the time to watch this Scholastica overview. In this video, I'm going to share a bit of background about Scholastica and briefly demo our journal peer review system, highlighting some of the key features you should know. To get started, I first want to make clear that Scholastica is not a publisher. We are a scholarly publishing technology solutions provider with easy to integrate software and services for peer review management, article production, and journal hosting. Scholastica's mission is to empower scholarly organizations to publish top quality standards aligned journals more efficiently and affordably than traditional options, so they can focus on furthering research in their fields. At Scholastica, we believe peer review and publishing processes should be as efficient and enjoyable as possible. That's why we design our solutions with all users in mind. Our software features an intuitive interface and unlimited access to customer support for editors, authors, and reviewers. We also make product improvements immediately available to all users. So unlike other platforms, you don't have to wait for or install updates. Here's a bird's eye view of the key Scholastica peer review system benefits you should know about, including a fast setup process with easy data imports, migration support, and free training, so you can get started in a matter of days or weeks, not months, and powerful intuitive configuration options to streamline your workflows. So now let's dive into a quick demo of Scholastica's peer review system. So to start, here is an example of a journal out of MIT Press that uses Scholastica just for the peer review product. So when authors click to submit a paper on that journal's main website, they are sent to this page on Scholastica with the journal's author guidelines, editorial board, and just general information. Using Scholastica, like with other peer review systems, you can set up your submission form to include the fields that you need. We offer on-demand submission form customization options to add manuscript detail requirements, instructional text, file upload fields, affirmations, and more. So as you can see, Scholastica features a really intuitive submission form that guides authors through each stage of the process to ensure they don't miss a step, helping journals to complete manuscripts with the article level metadata they need up front. And we do include validated fields for persistent identifiers, including ORCID, ROAR, and Crossref funder IDs. Now I'm going to jump ahead and show you what editors see when a manuscript comes in on the back end of the platform. So this is the manuscripts table where you'll find all your journal submissions. You'll start in the Scholastica basic view. This is a preset default view, which includes primary manuscript details like date submitted, author, title of the manuscript, and a handy review summary. From here, you can get more granular by creating custom views using the customize table button. It will take you to this configuration page where you can then add, remove, and reorder columns to create and save manuscript table views with the option to set your own default. So for example, I might wanna make a view with additional review status columns like reviews received, but I might not want to show the rating. And I'll save all of this as my default. So I'll create um, the title, click make this my default, and then save. So now this is my default view when I log in. And then from the manuscript table, you can resize columns if you like, and you can filter any view you're in using this blue sidebar with the option to save the filters you apply to this view. So changing a filter for the manuscript status or the manuscript tag and so forth. And this all happens at the individual editor account level. So each editor can create and filter their own views to see what's most important to them. And as you can see, the manuscripts table offers powerful configurations and an intuitive user-friendly interface. So now we're gonna to go to a manuscript work area. From this page, you'll be able to see a lot of general information about this manuscript. You'll also have all of the tools here on the left-hand side that you'll need to manage the peer review process for this specific manuscript. One thing I wanna point out is discussions, which is integrated email. This helps you keep all of communication that is about this manuscript in one place. So you can easily read through all of the communication that's been happening. 
Additionally, from here, you can export your manuscript package if you do want to send this off to your production vendor. And then to spot plagiarism more efficiently, journals subscribed to Crossref Similarity Check Plagiarism Detection Service can integrate our peer review system with the latest version of Similarity Check. They can then see the similarity score here for all new submissions and a link to view the full report, which is here. We also have a reviewer table which is here. So if you are coming from another platform and you have um, a database of reviewers that you want to bring over, if it's in a spreadsheet form, we can import that in. But from here, you'll see all of the reviewers that you've ever invited to review for your journal. You can see some quick data about them, who's typically late or who's currently late, how long on average it takes them to complete a review. And then if you click on a reviewer, you can see more stats about them everything you've ever invited them to, and you can see notes and tags about them. From this peer review analytics tab, this is where you will be able to see all core analytic journal data. Plus you can also do on-demand data exports for more in-depth analysis. You can get those from your settings and then click data export. And then from the settings page, here you'll find your configuration options. So there are a lot of options here to help the journal configure their account to what will work best for them and their team. There's a lot of options, but it also is not overly complex. From down here at the bottom, this is where you'll find your peer review integrations. This is where you can find where to set up Crossref Similarity Check that I mentioned earlier, and also RightsLink. So if you use Copyright Clearance Center's Rights Links tool to manage APC invoicing for open access journals. Scholastica has an inter integration with Rights Link. So invoices are created automatically after issuing an accept decision. So that covers the main features and functionality of Scholastica's peer review system. If you are interested in an in depth walkthrough of Scholastica's peer review system or of any of our other products based on your journal's team's unique needs, please schedule a personal demo with a member of our team via our website. Happy journal editing.